Their houses might be intact, but some property owners in Tasmania have been hit hard by the bushfire emergency over the weekend. In the Derwent Valley, a well-known vineyard has lost this year's crop, while in the Midlands, significant stock losses are expected. Emergency crews continue to maintain containment lines, but warn the fire threat in the state south still hasn't passed. It's the burning reality for Meadowbank vineyard owner Gerald Ellis. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll have any fruit that would be suitable for making into wine this year. His 2012 vintage has been destroyed after a fire broke containment lines in the Derwent Valley. And I don't think anyone's seen this sort of devastation in this area like this before. We've had, in the last uh, 20 years, we've had two other fires here. Nothing like this at all. A blackened, scorched earth is all that remains after the fire tore through 5,000 hectares. Energy crews spent the day restoring fallen power lines, while nearby residents also began to count the cost. A burnt boat, tra white trailer, box trailer, our Avery with all the birds in it, and pet rabbits dead. In the northern Midlands, a smaller fire burnt out more than 500 hectares of farmland around Simmons Plains. The nearby sale yards were lucky to escape the flames, but there's lost stock, damaged fences, and even the dragway came off second best. These are some of the crops damaged by the fire, which has basically stripped the land bare. The physical impact is clear to see, and while the economic loss to infrastructure and stock is still unclear, at least 50 sheep were killed on this property alone. The loss of stock is another hit for farmers recovering from the drought. It's the psychological stress of seeing, you know, a year's worth of work or even more in some cases go up, literally up in smoke. Fire crews are still working to contain spot fires at Meadowbank. There may be some backburning operations in the area uh, and hopefully by uh, towards the end of this week uh, that should be pretty much rounded up. Investigations into how the fire started continue while the community begins to pick up the pieces. Jackson Vernon, ABC News, Meadowbank.